part of an electronic pet I'm building for my little sister. Meet the SSD 1306s. These cost me less than three pounds, so they're super cheap and they're extremely good fun to play with. You can get different colors and they're very versatile. So you can code them in MicroPython, CircuitPython, C, and you can run them off Raspberry Pis, Raspberry Pi Picos, Arduinos, and ESP8266s. Of course, there are more options available. These are one of the most useful components that we use. A few uses of them. You can use them to display information, such as in my voltage divider video, I used the screen to display the voltage, which was really useful, so these can come in super handy. Also really cool for setting the mode for a project, so if you're doing an MP3 player, for example, then it could be used as a menu screen. Finally, just to have fun, if you're playing around, making a robot, or doing a little game with an animation. A bedside clock, maybe. All sorts of stuff. You can get these in different sizes as well. So these ones are 128 by 64, but I've seen you can also get 128 by 32, 72 by 40, and 64 by 48. So those would be quite cool for little gadgets, maybe some jewelry or something. But they'll still work and they'll be really handy. Like I mentioned, I'm doing a little robot pet for my little sister, and this is what I'm using. These particular ones already came with headers that we could solder on. Like I mentioned before, you can get these extremely cheap. For example, I got all of these, I think I got about six of them for only a few pounds. We do sometimes get our stuff from elsewhere, such as Adafruit or Pimeroni or other companies like that. Um, but And the prices are a little bit higher. But you know they treat their staff well, they treat people well, and they contribute code and resources to the community. So you know where that extra bit of money is going. I must admit though, most of the time we do go for the cheapest possible options available because our budget is tiny, but it's up to you. We're not going to judge. When you're buying them, they come in different types. The most common are SBI and I2C. There's a video in production where we go into more detail about SBI and I2C. But really, it's just the way that these guys communicate with your microcontroller. Here's an SBI one, and we've got a full packet here of I2Cs. And you'll notice that the difference between is the SBI has more legs than the I2C. You can see that this only has four legs. I2C is our favourite because it has less legs, but it's really up to you which one you choose. You can get SPIs that convert to an I2C, um, so you can just see that we've had to solder something here, and you just have to unsolder and solder, and so solder certain parts to switch between the two. Personally, in our experience, we wouldn't recommend this because we've had some patchy results. Whichever one you choose though, there's going to be a library that you can use, and that's what's so great about these boards. I just wanted to show you this snazzy little thing. Um, this is part of the electronic pet we're building for our little sister. My brother's also making himself um, a clock. This is powered actually by this 3 volt battery you can see here, which is super cool. Um, both of these casings we 3D printed. This design was someone else's that we 3D printed, and this we actually designed ourselves. Now usually when we make things, um, we try to make them as simple, as inexpensive and as accessible as possible, but of course these are 3D printed, not everyone's going to have access to a 3D 3D printer and you can get someone to do it for you but it's just not as accessible as we would like but with a bit of imagination I'm sure you can come up with something as good or better for example when we did our mini amp project this container only cost a pound and on our Bluetooth devices we just reused some old things such as this card box and this old smints tin in part two hopefully we'll show you how to code this and show you a few tips and tricks we really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a good day. Bye!